Hey there, English learner. Are you eager to unlock the secret to achieving advanced English speaking fluency? Are you feeling a bit lost in your English speaking journey? In today's digital age, AI tools like ChatGPT, Giglish, and so many others offer a huge variety of opportunities to practice speaking for free at home. If you haven't already started using ChatGPT as your free English speaking partner, check out this video that shows you how to get started. While it's great to be able to speak with AI, with so many speaking practice resources at our fingertips, it's easy to feel lost once the initial excitement of using AI has worn off. That's where this video is going to come in. I'm going to show you how to create a sensible, easy to stick to, long-term plan that will help you make real progress using AI as your English speaking partner. Everyone wants to improve their English speaking, and yet it's the hardest thing to do on your own. It's hard to measure your own speaking ability and track your own progress. It's difficult to know how to effectively integrate using new vocabulary and grammar you are learning and actually transform new words into part of your active vocabulary. It's also difficult creating a speaking routine that works for you and it can seem a little bit daunting to do that. With so many distractions, it's really easy to randomly practice with tools like ChatGPT in an ad hoc manner without a clear plan or structure. Stay tuned. In this video, I'm unveiling the secret to overcoming these challenges and unlocking advanced English speaking fluency like never before in just around about 15 minutes a day. No joke. I'll cut to the chase and tell you now the secret to achieving English speaking fluency. The secret is structure. To help you know how to structure your speaking practice, I am going to give you a complete step-by-step -step framework that will give you a daily English speaking practice plan that you can get through on your own in about 15 minutes a day. Who doesn't have 15 minutes a day? No matter how busy you are, that is an amount of time you can easily carve out to move you towards your goals. Before I explain this framework and how it can help you create a powerful speaking practice plan, let me first explain why structure is needed. Structure in life in general is useful. If you have a guiding framework, it can help you get more organized, gain clarity, as well as helping you be more efficient, productive and resilient. But if you are like me, it can be hard to accept structure and routines. Part of me loves them and part of me loathes them. It is a constant internal push and pull. When I get into the wrong mindset, I start to think that structure feels like a restriction on my autonomy and creativity. I start to think it's not actually worth pushing out of my comfort zone because the structure feels like it's clashing with a core desire for freedom, flexibility and spontaneity in life. Perhaps you've experienced this. Perhaps you've had a negative past experience with micromanagement or overwhelming rules. I know I certainly have. I grew up mostly in the UK and the UK is a very structured and rule-based society. It's a very orderly place and that has massive advantages, but the flip side is it can be really restrictive. When I first moved back here as an adult, I had massive culture shock when I went into the staff room, for example, at the school I work at, and there were four different ways that you could order tea. <laughs> However, accepting structure can be really useful if you look at it as a tool for empowerment rather than restriction. Hard choices, easy life. Easy choices, hard life. Let me share a quick personal story with you. Quite a few years ago, when I was in my 20s, I wrote in my journal that I would like to do a marathon. I was in really good shape and I was very active. I played a lot of sports like beach volleyball. I did a lot of hiking. How hard can this running malarkey be? I thought. I laced up my trainers and headed out and it was the biggest slap in the face because I only got a few blocks before I realized, oh, it's way harder than I thought. In informal usage, you can use way instead of far as an intensifier. For example, it's way too early to say who will win. You talk way too much. 
I communicate way better with music than with words. <laughs> I am way off track from my topic right now. So I realized that running any substantial kind of distance was way harder than I imagined. I enrolled in the Vancouver Sun Run Learn to Run program, which is a 10 kilometer training program. You run three times a week for about 15 weeks, building up slowly uh, from walking to walk running and then eventually to running. It looked like an amazing program because you start off walking a lot and then build up over time. I paid for the program and then I didn't turn up. There was a part of my brain that thought, this is ridiculous, I know how to run. There was another part of my brain that thought the structure would be good, but I'm afraid of not keeping up with the other runners that are in the program. So I thought about it a lot, but I didn't go. Three weeks passed by and I thought, oh well, that was a waste of money. Then out of the blue, the leader of that program, Paul, who has since passed away, unfortunately, but who became a really good friend of mine, uh, Paul, he called me and he said to me, will I see you at the next walk run next time we have a session, Sarah? And I apologised for not having gone and said it was sad, uh, but it was too late to join in. He called me on that and he said, it's never too late. Go at your own pace, just try it out. And I guess the rest is history because I went out with the group three times a week and I followed the structured plan. It took months uh, to train, but I did that 10K. Then I entered a program to do um, a half marathon and I followed a half marathon training. And then eventually I trans transformed myself into a runner and I crossed the finish line of the Vancouver Marathon. And then I even became a run coach myself, helping others in the same program that had helped me. Would I have managed that without set training days three times a week, a structured training plan that controlled the distances and the types of runs and a group of like-minded people? No, absolutely not. <laughs> and the same principle applies to English speaking practice, which is why I mentioned that story. Without a structured approach, it's easy to feel lost and unsure of how to progress. It's easy to give up and say you can't do it. But with the right framework in place, you can achieve remarkable results. Which leads me to the focus framework, a structured approach designed to address these challenges and unlock your English speaking potential. Step one, formulate your speaking practice goal. Basically, get really clear about what you are going to speak about and why. This could be as simple as deciding the topic. For example, I am going to practice speaking by answering a speaking prompt about whether footballers' salaries should be reduced. Um, it could be something as simple as that, or it could be more detailed. You might want to think, okay, I'm going to focus on using transition words and persuasive language as I talk about footballers' salaries. Here's a question for you. Do you think footballer salaries should be reduced? Let me know in the comments. Step two, open up and record a two minute response. Use the ChatGPT mobile app. Tell ChatGPT you're going to speak for two minutes on your topic and that you'd like feedback on how you could improve. Speak freely on the topic of choice that you've decided to speak about and just allow your thoughts to flow. Here's a prompt that you might wanna use. ChatGPT, I am an English learner. I'm going to speak on the topic of for two minutes. When I'm finished, I will say the word finished. At that point, I would like you to give me feedback on how I've done. <coughs> ChatGPT, I would now like you to give me an improved version of what I said. Okay, step three, convert your recording into text. If you have used ChatGPT, it will already have transcribed your spoken response into written form. So this part is easy. The reason it is important to do this is so that you can analyze and improve upon your speaking. Step four, up level through comparison. Take the version ChatGPT gave you, compare it to yours. Can you improve it further? Try asking ChatGPT how it could be improved, how it could get better. Try asking for specific things like new vocabulary words you would like to use or adding in better descriptions or better transition words or more vivid adjectives or more dynamic verbs or more persuasive language and so on and so on. Step five, 
speak again. Take your up-leveled version and practice with it. Speak it out loud by reading it. Speak it from memory as much as you can. Or you might want to use the shadowing technique. Listen to the improved version of your statement a few times to understand the pronunciation and intonation. Break the statement down into smaller chunks. Start with one or two sentences at a time. Repeat each chunk aloud, trying to match the speaker's pace, intonation and emphasis. Pay attention to the pronunciation of individual words and try to mimic it as closely as possible. Record yourself speaking the improved version. Listen to the recording and compare it to the original to identify areas for improvement. Continue practicing each chunk until you feel comfortable with the pronunciation and flow. And then practice the entire thing. Practice the shadowing exercise regularly to improve your pronunciation, intonation, and overall speaking fluency. Here's a prompt that you can use. I would like to now do a shadowing exercise with you using the improved version you created. Another thing you can do is to substitute words in the version that you spoke. For example, you might want to change and improve vocabulary and then read aloud the piece again so that you practice with that improved version. Practice speaking in various different ways with ChatGPT. Here's another prompt. ChatGPT, what are some other ways I can continue speaking on this topic with you? Or, ChatGPT, I am an English learner. Please act like a human having a back and forth conversation with me. I'd like to have a structured, debate-style conversation on this topic. You take the opposing view to mine and ask me questions. Once you have had a chance to try out this, let me know in the comment section how it went. Tell me what worked and what didn't, I'd love to know. Equally, would you like a Google Doc with a set of speaking prompts and model responses? Would you find it useful to listen to me speaking about a prompt so that you have a model to compare your response to? Let me know in the comments and if enough people feel that that would be really useful, I will create it and I'll add it to the resources in my free resource library. It's important to continually find new input that will create topics that you can speak about. If you are looking for inspiration as to how to do this in a fun way, you need to check out this video that gives you lots of practical suggestions on how to speak English at home. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your speaking practice. Oh.